Lobsters. Hello. Come, 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 come close. I'll show you in a second. Ready? We will show you our beautiful blue lobsters. Did you hear that? Come guys, check. The crayfish pond is done. My colorful crayfish pond is done. What up Slayers, we're back at it with another Slay Venture and today we're gonna be doing something I've been wanting to do with my bathtub. Yes, my bathtub. But before we get into it, I wanna go ahead and shout out the winner of the Hidden Sticker Challenge. Congratulations to you, you went ahead and found those hidden stickers and answered the questions at the end of the video correctly. Slayers, if you wanna be shouted out at the beginning of the following video, be sure to go ahead and subscribe as well as answer the questions which are found again at the end of this video. So, today we're gonna to be looking at our crawfish. Yes, all of our crawfish, even the old brown ones that I have in the front of the place, as well as the colorful blue ones. So, we're making our way downtown and here it is, the new outdoor crawfish pond for my colorful crawfish army that i have upstairs growing and i have in the front as well so this is honestly blowing up look at this i have plans for days it it's so a fat much? mat we're gonna go ahead and get well water which i have and load this puppy up and set it up getting it perfect for our crawfish yes. army yes layers our crawfish army and it's gonna be perfect because they're gonna have a lot more space instead of those little tanks i have them in now and they're gonna be able to moat, feel safe and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're gonna set this up. Before we went ahead and decided to fill this beautiful thing up with water, we decided to actually move it. I got tired of dealing with those algae blooms. Yeah. And honestly, this tree is the real MVP. And what's cool is my crawfish will be next to my croc land, which is over here. Bacon, are you good? You guys good? You're good. We just gotta get you water, don't worry. The move is to actually just keep it here put the filter run it the same way like before yada 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 pumps the whole nine everything what we're gonna do is actually add sand right now all right slayers so with my trusty dolly i am bringing close to 50 pounds 60 pounds of this nice very thin sand it's so thin and i want this sand in here because i want the crawfish to be able to dig their burrows feel safe because we're adding shelters and caves for them and also, I want them to be able to walk around. If you look in here, you're not able to walk around. There's no substrate, there's nothing. So, crawfish like substrate. So, Lily and I are gonna add all of this black sand. And since they're colorful, you're gonna be able to see them. And hopefully, we don't get an algae bloom. Go ahead and add all of the sand. And then, we're gonna go ahead and add all the well water we need because we already have a canister filter, which is already cycled. So, we just add the nice well water the beneficial bacteria that we need and we're good to go so i'll see you in 10 years Did you hear that come guys check the crayfish pond is done my colorful crayfish pond is done for all my colorful lobsters they're good to go we have water going in it took forever to get the well water that's why we all look like we've been through something but it's it's good it's good i think i'm just gonna roll with just this canister filter I do want to go ahead and get aeration going on, but I'm going to have to get more extension cords and things like that so that we can go ahead and make that happen. But right now, this is good. I mean, crayfish they don't need that much flow around the water, but as you can see right here, there's plenty of water agitation. Alrighty, Slayers. So I have this beautiful piece of driftwood. If you look here, there's plenty of holes for them to hide and make babies and everything like that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is actually put this underwater right here so we have that piece of driftwood that's gonna sit there which is good that's gonna sit they're gonna be able to hide in there on top of that we're gonna also add some other things i have other pieces of driftwood here now look i have little caterpillars growing through the driftwood as well they're enjoying it so they have shelter here so i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff and add that as well to the tank we have driftwood we're gonna add some elbow pipes as well and we should be good to go in regards to shelter. So we have substrate, water, shelter. Now it's time to finally go ahead and get our crawfish. Our slayer, so it's time to go ahead and net our little lobsters, our mini colorful lobsters, crawfish, whatever you want to call them. Now these are the plain Jane brown ones. So if you want to look right here, here is the first pond where we had all of our babies. So I'm going to go ahead with my trusty net and see how many we have left. I throw food in there once in a while, some minnows, some pellets and stuff. 
But to be honest, I really haven't upkept it. So they could have bred, had babies. I have no idea. So it's gonna be the first time I've checked it in about, I don't know, probably the last time I made a video on it. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and check out this little pond and see what we got. Ooh, a lot of muck. Get anything? Oh, look. We got one, two crawfish right here. We'll go ahead and check them out soon, but we're just gonna throw them one by one in here. What is this? Are we a little baby? Hello? Wee! <laughs> you saw that one? <laughs> yeah. Is there more in here? <gasps> There's another one. Give me one second. Look at that. You oh see that? Gosh. Yeah. Throw that guy in there. Hello. Yeah, they're in a muck pond. Uh, nothing in here, so we're just gonna dump that. I don't even know what's in here. I know there's crawfish. All right, so we have another one in here. Look at this. Hello. Dude, they're thriving. I told you there's a whole bunch in here. Yeah. Got another one. You can't really see them because they're covered in muck. All right, let's go ahead and see if we have any more. In here. Oh, got another one. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. And there. I know there's more in here. I have a billion babies. Look, I have even grass shrimp jumping. I don't know if you can see it. Look, see? The grass yeah. shrimp's still thriving right here. Yeah. See it? Yeah. All right. We let those guys go. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my little lobsters. Lobsters? Hello? Oh, wow. We got some big ones. Oh, my gosh. We got some big ones. Look at them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just drop that guy in. We're gonna drop that one in, and we're gonna drop that one in. Dude, I don't even know how many we have. We'll There's go ahead so and do many. a count. There's so many. You know, they, they live in muck. There's nothing going on here. Well, I have a pump going, but I turned that off. There's more. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna keep scooping in here. If, oh, see? Look at that. Another wow. one. So there's two babies. Still babies, but they're gonna have a lot of space in that big, big bathtub. Uh, oh look, more. I'm killing it today. Wow. Here you go. Alrighty. Come on. Look at that. Jeez. I'm telling you guys, we had hundreds of babies. Hello. So I think that's it. So now the fun part is going upstairs and getting our baby blue lobsters that hatched. So I'll meet you there. All right, Slayers, so we made it to the craw cave. Ooh, I forgot I have crawfish in there. So if you look here, this is how many we actually have. In the comments below, how many brown crawfish do we have? All right, Slayers, so it's time to go ahead and check out all of our crawfish here. These are the colorful lobsters that we've been raising together on my channel. Turn this one on. Oh, someone went ahead and hit in there, but what's really cool is that is Snowball, my very nice and white crawfish, and she molted. As you can see right there below, there's a nice little claw. But we're going to have to look at the babies later because that's going to be in another video, so stay tuned for that. But to continue, we're going to turn that off so you guys don't get to cheat. We're going to turn on this one. Looks like no one's home. No one's home, but if you look at the top of that pot, there's an antenna right in that hole. We have Smurfette. Yes, Smurfette, that is her name. My beautiful little blue lobster that we're gonna be watching carefully growing up to breed with either Captain America, catch em alls Wild Wild the Farleys, all my friends. Not sure what we're gonna do yet, but she is gonna be beautiful. Look, she came up. Come look. She's out in that corner. Oh, she's so beautiful, she's so blue. Hello, Smurfette. On to the next crawfish tank. Come, come, come. Look at my friends, we have to the left, Papa Smurf. To the right, we have Captain America. Everyone looks good. You know what's really cool about crawfish? They love to eat. Got my little sinking carnivore pellets right here. And we're gonna drop something down. Look, he already knows what's going on. He knows he's about to get fed. Let's drop that thing down, watch. He's gonna go nuts for it. Oh, 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 yeah! Look at that, oh, <laughs> And he just inches his way back and he just sucks that down. Look at that, zoom into that for a second, guys. Look at that. Oh yeah, mmm, dinner. Moving on to Captain America. Let's see if you'll finally eat on camera now. Come on, my child. Back at it again with being lame, Captain America. We all know you eat, but this is not the main event. Come, 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 come close. I'll show you in a second, ready? 
we will show you our beautiful blue lobsters. So as you can see, we have some blue lobsters in the back, in the front, some leftover food. They're cleaning up, doing what they're supposed to do, but it's time to upgrade. Look at all the blue ones. I think there's a blue one back there. Hello. There you are. I see your tail. You can't hide from me. So everyone's in here. Oh, you're so friendly. You're so beautiful. Hi. So we're going to go ahead and lift up this log and get every single blue lobster and move them into this one to move them into that awesome bathtub. All right, Slayer. So what we're going to go ahead and do is catch every little lobster and then put them inside of that bucket we have here, then examine them. So hopefully they don't give me a hard time. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Ooh, baby. Look how blue this one is. It's She's like so sky pretty. blue. Oh, we're going to have some fun today. Ooh. Come on. Oh, we're going to have some fun. You know what? Let me move that log. So here we go. We're going to scoop up everybody. Look at this one go. This one should be easy. Oh, psych. She juked me out. But as you can see, we still have a good amount of lobsters left. A lot of them were donated to all of my friends. And the good news is these are all females and I'll show you how to sex them again as soon as we get outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch every single one of them and I'll meet you outside at the new colorful lobster bathtub pond. All right, Slayers, so here we have our colorful bounty of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lobsters right here. But you can't see them all because they're gonna be going in this beautiful bathtub that we went ahead and just put together, Lily and I. We have substrate, we have cover for them to hide, more hiding places, everything they're gonna need to thrive. And a lot of space for them to grow and molt. Let's go and check these guys out right now. They're kind of fighting right now because they're all clumped together. So I wanna show you we have a combination. We have beautiful blue ones. And we have beautiful brown ones. Aww. But there's nothing more beautiful than the blue lobsters. But I have white lobsters too. If you guys didn't know and you're new to the channel, you're missing out. White lobsters are what's up. Blue lobsters are still cool though. So we're gonna go ahead and sex each one real quick. What we have here, female brown. Female brown. So we're gonna add her. Welcome to your new home, baby. Be free. Wee! So we're gonna go ahead and check out the rest here as well. We have a combination of more females. So that's good because they're less aggressive. We're gonna add her. There you go. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, we have a little battle here. You guys can let go of each other. Let go. I got you. This is a beautiful blue female, but we're gonna leave her here and check those out. Look at this guy. This guy's a male. This guy wants to bite me too. He's a little aggressive. Look at that. We're gonna add him. And we're gonna add the rest of the brown ones together. That's is a male. Make babies. <laughs> so the time has come where we go ahead and check out our baby blue lobsters. So we have a couple small ones here. Look at this little baby, hello. He's like so clear. Let's go ahead and see what you're gonna be when you grow up. You have your choice, but you are a baby girl. Oh, look, she's cleaning herself. Oh my goodness, look at those beady eyes. She's so cute. So cute. All right, best of luck. May you survive and breed in there, hopefully with blue ones only. Based on these claws right here, I think we have a male. So we have hope for blue ones in this tank in the near future, yep. That is a blue male right here. He is perfect, ready to go. All right, buddy, make me more blue ones. See you later. And then we have a big, nice blue female right here. See what's going on? Yep, nice blue female. She's doing good. Go ahead, be free, my friend. And we have a couple more blue ones in here. Look at this one. What are you gonna be when you grow up? More females, so that's good. So what's really cool is that we have a very good male to female ratio. So the males will breed with the females and create more beautiful little creatures like these. So I'm gonna continue adding these guys here. We have a few more. Yep, a lot of them are females. We have little babies. Oh my gosh, come check these guys out. Look at these little babies. Aww. Gorgeous, still growing, doing well. What will you be when you grow up? A woman? What will you be when you grow up? Oh, he's pinching me, I don't even feel it. So these will be twins. They're gonna be females, women. And hopefully they will go ahead and produce a lot of blue babies for the Joey Slam empire here. So 
Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're gonna add these guys in, and I'm gonna talk about the three questions you all need to answer to be shouted out at the beginning of the next video. All right, question number one, how many baby blue lobsters do I have? Question number two, how many brown lobsters slash crayfish do I have? And question number three, Slayers, how many stickers did I use in this video? If you answer all those questions correctly, I will shout you out at the beginning of the next video. I wanna go ahead and again, Thank you guys for making my dreams come true, as well as allowing me to share my life with you guys. I love each and every one of you Slayers, and I'll see you in the next Slay Venture. Booyah.